A solar eclipse is set to roll through Mexico, the U.S. and Canada Monday. Here in Manitoba, it'll be a partial eclipse. We'll start to see the sun with a big bite out taken out of it by the moon just before 1 p.m. And it'll end shortly after 3 p.m. Tonight, CBC's Gavin Axelrod looks at how Manitobans are getting ready, including one man who's heading out of town to see the event in its full form. You cannot look at the sun, naked eye, you'll do damage. The wait is almost over for James Fast. He's an astronomy lover. With telescope and binoculars in tow, he's off to Dallas for the total eclipse. To see the darkness come in in the middle of the day, to see stars and planets come out, maybe even see a comet just next to the sun, that'll be uh, pretty, pretty special. I think it'll be overwhelming. This is the first time he'll see a total eclipse in real life. He even booked his hotel room last year. I can't really imagine what it's going to be like. People in Manitoba will see a partial eclipse here at home. And Winnipeg students are also getting ready. At Rockwood School, they're having lunch together in the gym before dancing the afternoon away and watching the eclipse online. It feels very special to see something so, well, crazy, having the moon go over the sun. The province warns looking at the eclipse can damage your eyes if you're not taking proper precautions. So at the school, they're playing it safe. Since we're having a partial eclipse, our eyes don't understand that because it looks super, it doesn't look bright, but even though it is, and it can trigger our eyesight, so we're going to be staying inside most of the day. The province says not to use homemade filters to catch the event, and says one of the safest ways is to watch online. For those looking to be outside, a viewing party with the specialized equipment is happening at Assiniboine Park. And that's going to be it. As for Fast, he hopes to document the experience for those who won't see the total eclipse. He plans to share photos and video. Gavin Axelrod, CBC News.